Bridgerton is raking in a lot of money with every new season released, and that in turn means the cast is well taken care of. And you won't believe that even though some of the cast were broke before joining Bridgerton, they are now super comfortable and their net worths are mind-blowing. Not only are the Bridgerton stars wealthy in the ton, but they also have a lot of it in real life too. And from the enormous budget assigned to Bridgerton, it's not unexpected, with a single episode of the series costing production $7 million, which means there's a lot to take home for the cast as well. First up, we have Jonathan Bailey, who plays the charming Anthony Bridgerton. Jonathan has been acting for a long while too before becoming more known in Bridgerton. So, before Bridgerton, he was in hit shows and films like Fellow Travelers, for which he received critical acclaim, Broadchurch, Testament of Youth, and other great projects. His role in Fellow Travelers further won him a Critics Choice Award for Best Supporting Actor. And despite his past great achievements in the film industry, the actor has also signed on to another successful Netflix series, Heartstopper, where he will be playing Jack Maddox. Then, he will be playing Fierro in the musical, Wicked, and a lead role in Jurassic World 4. So Jonathan isn't just a busy actor, but one whose net worth is on the rise. However, his earnings on Bridgerton are hidden, but he got a higher pay in season two due to his leading role and appearance in multiple scenes than in other seasons. So as of now, his net worth stands at $1.9 million, which is expected to rise soon with the upcoming projects he has lined up. The actor is also a brand ambassador for Omega Watches and Orlebar Brown, which all come with amazing paychecks. Just as Jonathan was robbing fans' hearts with his role as Anthony in Bridgerton, Simone Ashley was also shining as Kate in the show. And Simone has long been amassing wealth as you will be impressed by how much she's worth. The actress was known for her role as Olivia Hannan in Sex Education before signing up for Bridgerton. She was also in The Little Mermaid and many other interesting roles which you will find in our video that talks about where you've seen the Bridgerton cast before. But the reason why Simone has a booming net worth isn't tied to acting alone, as she's also into modeling and signed into reputable agencies, which gets her paid even when she's not acting. And unlike other Bridgerton stars, Simone was signed on as a leading character, which means her payment was even more attractive. However, the actress is currently worth between $2 million to $4 million according to multiple reports. She is also a brand ambassador for La Mer and Nespresso and has partnership deals with many other companies which definitely pays well as her net worth is expected to rise even higher soon. Moving on to the Featherington sisters, Philippa's actress Harriet Keynes has also done quite well for herself. Harriet started her acting career in 2012 and has consistently earned reasonable amounts of money since then from featuring in TV shows and movies. The actress is popular for portraying Jem in In the Flesh, which further helped in expanding her career. She was also in Marcella, and definitely featuring in Bridgerton has helped in building her income as well, with many partnership deals with brands. However, Harriet is worth $1.9 million. The other Featherington sister, Prudence, might not be as financially successful in the show, but the actress who portrays her, Bessie Carter, is quite loaded. The actress has featured in a series of projects like The Good Liar, Les Miserables, and more in the past before getting on with Bridgerton, which has further increased her net worth. She also got introduced to acting earlier on due to her parents' influence, Imelda Staunton and Jim Carter. So Bessie learned from the best as she took an interest in acting when she was a child. Although she was born to famous parents with overwhelming net worths, she has also made quite a large sum for herself. Her mother, Imelda, is quite known for successful shows like Harry Potter, and The Crown, while her father Jim is popular for Downton Abbey. And following in their footsteps, Bessie got to join a thriving show too, like Bridgerton. Interestingly, the actress is estimated to be worth $6 million, which isn't only from acting. Bessie earns the majority of her money from her business ventures and other deals like brand promotions and fashion modeling. The beloved Bridgerton sibling, Luke Thompson, plays Benedict, and despite becoming more popular through the show, he's yet to be cut his biggest paycheck, which will come with his season. Before Bridgerton, though, he was raking in a ton of money from shows like Transatlantic and roles in the movies Dunkirk and A Little Life, which has helped him gather a considerable amount of income
income in his net worth. Thompson also earned his income from plays in theaters, which is where he started his career. However, because the actor has no social media platform, it's impossible to track the brands he's working with when he's not acting. So it's believed that his net worth, which is $2 million, comes mainly from his acting career. And this is expected to increase soon. Like Nicola, Luke Newton also became popularly known for his role as Colin in Bridgerton, which further enriched his pockets. He also had financial issues earlier on in his career, where he was once living on his friend's couch. But since then, he has been earning quite a sustainable amount of income before joining Bridgerton as he was once a Disney star who featured in The Lodge, which many fans might know him from. He was also in a teen British show called The Cut, which made him gain even more traction in the film industry earlier than his colleagues. And another cool thing about how Luke gathered his net worth is that he isn't just an actor but a singer as well, and he was once part of a boy band called South Four. The band got to sign a $1 million deal before releasing their single Cougar Town, but that didn't last long as they ended up splitting. Luke has also been earning some decent paychecks from working with known brands like BMW, Todd's, Omega, and a few others. And when he's not making money from filming or endorsements, Luke is also getting paid via sponsored Instagram posts and his account is capable of making him about $8,300 per post. However, his net worth rounds up to $2.2 million, which is mostly due to his work in The Lodge and Bridgerton. But the actor has decided to keep his real earnings from these projects private. Although Phoebe Dynavore's character, Daphne, has stepped back from the forefront, her bank account surely hasn't. Before Phoebe got paid that high in the first season, she had been working in other major productions. She started her acting career at 14 by playing the role of Siobhan Maley in Waterloo Road. Phoebe went ahead to act in other projects like Snatch, Younger, and a few others, but none was a big hit like the first season of Bridgerton, which she lied to get. According to Phoebe, she uttered some little lies during her audition when she told the casting director she had ridden a horse many times, even though she hadn't. Eventually, she got the role and was able to learn on the job, which really increased her net worth. So, her net worth immediately shot up to $765,000 from $112,000 within the short period of joining Bridgerton. Since Bridgerton, she has moved on to even more earnings from deals with brands like Charlotte Tilbury, ad campaigns, and modeling jobs. Although many people don't know, she was also born to celebrity parents with her mother and father being Sally and Tim Dynvor. However, her net worth as of 2024 is somewhere around $1 million to $2 million. Reggae Jean Page, who portrayed the Duke of Hastings in season one, may not have gotten as much as Phoebe did, but he definitely followed next in line, being a main character himself. Before Bridgerton, the actor had only played minor roles in series like Harry Potter, but Bridgerton was a turning point for him not just in his career but also in his earnings. Since leaving Bridgerton, he has gone on to feature in other projects like The Grey Man, Dungeons and Dragons, and a few others. But when he left, he was offered $250,000 to appear in five episodes of season two, but the actor declined to focus on his other projects at the time, The Grey Man, where he ended up getting paid $150,000, which is still decent considering the movie made overall $454,000. Another of his projects then, D&D, was very successful and earned $123 million, and his co-star, Chris Pine, was paid $11.5 million, which means Page earned quite a lot in that film, depending on his contract. However, he's currently estimated to be worth $1.5 million. He's also a brand ambassador for Seed Lip Drinks and has other partnership deals with popular magazines and companies. Claudia Jesse, who plays Eloise, is also not active on social media, which means means her earnings come mostly from her acting jobs. The actress also had financial difficulties while growing up, which led to some traumatizing events for her as a child. However, she eventually found her way to acting where she started on the stage in theaters. She proceeded to TV and got a major role in 2015 as WPC Annie Taylor. In 2017, she got into more projects like Line of Duty before landing Bridgerton and changing her net worth for the better. Interestingly, the actress 
actress has really come far as she was worth $500,000 as of 2020. And now she has gotten even more based on her appearance in Bridgerton as she's estimated to be worth between $1.5 million to $3 million. Her earnings are expected to increase even more with her continuous appearance on the show and her pending leading season. Nicola Coughlin, who plays Penelope, had little to no net worth until very recently. Moving to London a few years before now was a tough call for Nicola as it was hard for her to pay her rent and also get enough time to herself to go for auditions. She explained further saying, moving to London was hardcore because I was really broke. I was in debt. I had to work every hour of the day to afford to live there, but that meant I had no time to audition. Then things just didn't get better for her at the time because there was also lots of competition to get roles with people who weren't financially stressed, whereas she had to make money from side hustles, which took most of her time. Before things started becoming better for Nicola, it got a little worse because she eventually had to say goodbye to London and move into a more affordable location in Galway to work as an optician. The good thing about this is that Nicola didn't stop trying to get roles as she instantly got a role in a play at London's Old Vic Theatre. From there, she got an agent and got the role in Dairy Girls, which was the beginning of her career growth. But unlike many people who assume she came into an overnight success, Nicola would like to let them know things don't just happen like that. She said, in reality, it was a year from doing the rehearsal reading to the play being put on, to me then signing with my agent, to then getting Dairy Girls. I had to go back to work in the opticians in the gaps. Nothing happened quickly. However, she has gone ahead from there to feature in Barbie, Big Mood, and Bridgerton, where she has gained more recognition and even more money. Although she has kept the figures she got paid hidden in some of her recent projects, Nicola Coughlin is estimated to have a net worth of between $1.6 million to $2 million. Aside from acting projects, Nicola also makes a ton of money from endorsement deals, as she just recently featured on a brand by Kim Kardashian called Skims, which comes with a huge payment. Nicola has also worked with other popular brands like Vogue, Dior, Elle, Tatcha, and many others, which keeps the actress paid even when she's not on a filming contract. Bridgerton would never be the same without Lady Danbury, and the actress who portrays the character, Ajoa Ando, has also had a thriving career that started between the late 1990s and early 2000s. So she has featured in a series of projects since then and has earned even more money and recognition from Bridgerton. However, Ajoa's net worth is reported to be $5 million. Arsama Thomas, who graced the screen as young Lady Danbury, also had yet to be in many projects before Queen Charlotte. But aside from acting, she has endorsement deals, personal business, and projects she's involved in. So Arsema seems to have gathered quite a large amount of wealth, with her net worth reported to be $2 million. The young Queen Charlotte also brought a lot of grace and attitude to the spin-off series as the actor Actress India Amartefio became more known for her work in the show. But then, the actress has featured in many other shows like Line of Duty and Doctor Who, but in rather minor capacities, so Queen Charlotte was her first big project, and the young actress's net worth is $1 million, which is a modest amount. For the younger version of King George, Corey Milchrist played his role so elegantly in the Bridgerton franchise, which stands as one of his best works to date. Although he has only featured in a few projects in the past, according to his IMDb page, the actor seems to have made quite a lot of money which could have come from other business ventures aside from acting. However, Corey loves to keep his earnings, but further research has proven that the actor is worth around $3 million. The actress who plays the queen, Golda Rauschuvel, has continued to radiate royalty both on and off the screen, and just like her character is forever set in wealth, the actress also has a very spectacular net worth. Golda has been acting since 2000 and has featured in over 20 films and series since then. So she had quite a successful run before being cast as the queen in Bridgerton. She has been a consistent cast since season one and was even featured in the spin-off series Queen Charlotte, which means the actress is regularly getting huge paychecks and her net worth currently stands at $15 million. And finally, we have the legendary Julie Andrews, whose voice brings the character of Lady Whistledown to life. Even though she is a guest cast member, Julie Andrews walked away with over 
$1 million for her contribution. Julie is a legend in the entertainment industry, and the production team in Bridgerton was more than glad when she agreed to sign on to the show as the special gossip voice. From Mary Poppins to The Sound of Music and many more iconic projects she's known for, Julie Andrews has amassed such great wealth, with her net worth estimated to be $30 million.